Hello, I'm the Penguin 9, and I'm here to review 8-Bit Boy. 8-Bit Boy was created by Awesome Blade in May 2014 for both PC and Mac. This is Awesome Blade's first and only game, and and seems like a test almost, a dip into the waters of not game development, but more so releasing a game. Um, it costs uh, two pounds seventy-nine, um, which is a good price for the game considering how short it is. Uh, it contains five worlds filled with levels and over eight hours of gameplay. Um, my opinion on the game is, it looks like a first game, but it has enough polish and it has enough variation. To make it look like it's not the first game this the person behind it has made. However, there are some points I'd like to point out. The good the good parts of this game are that um, it stuck to the classic theme very well. The reason I say it uh, stuck to the classic theme very well is because this is a 8-bit platformer stylized after classic 8-bit games. Uh, the art is consistent throughout, um, there wasn't any time where I felt like I wasn't immersed in it. Uh, the sounds um, all sound like how they should be from a game. They uh, were all consistent in quality. Uh, the jumping, the coin collecting, even the firing of projectiles, they all sounded like how I would expect them to be. There is also full controller support as well, which I enjoyed. So far, I've only tested it on an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One controller. Um, I have yet to check it on a PS4 controller. Um, if I don't get round to it, I'll uh, do a little bit of research online, and I'll include in the description the source uh, to say whether or not it does work with PS4 controllers. The bad points of this game is that fr throughout it didn't seem like the controls were tight. Many of the mistakes I made I were my own. I'm not the best at platformers, but I can still play it. It was mainly things it was mainly things where I would be running off a platform and jumping and it just wouldn't register the jump because I was already off the platform despite me pressing jump was still on sometimes. That, in, that made me a little bit mad, but I wouldn't hold it against the developer. This is the first game they have made, after all. One other thing I'd like to talk about is the music. The music, in my opinion, is very well done. It suits an 8-bit game. Um, to me, it sounded a little bit repetitive, probably because from the parts of the songs which I used, they've just been repeated, but which isn't bad, that's uh, a common tactic um, when creating music, is to loop parts to make it longer. Uh, but other than that, I'll give you a sample of music now. As you can see from earlier when I was on about the 8-bit quality of the game, and it applies to music as well, but like I said, my main problem with this is the fact that it is repetitive after a while. It, whereas other music sounds, doesn't necessarily sound good, but isn't bad to listen to on repeat, this sort of annoyed me uh, throughout, and rather than spending time on levels, it made me want to just finish them as quick as possible. Now, with everything put aside, I would recommend this game to those who are looking for something to play and have quite a lot of time on their hands. It would also be best if 
they were into platformers as well. Uh, since if I was to put this in front of a person not very experienced with platformers, they might not have as much enthusiasm in the game as someone who is used to platformers. All in all, this is a good game from Awesome Blade for their first go. What I would say to the developer would be... With things like the power-ups, try and make it so that they are easier to get, almost, and not as easy to lose. At the moment, when you get hit, you lose the power-up straight away. And it's somewhat hard to recover them. So, maybe introducing a way to keep the power-up, so rather than losing everything, it just drops down in tier, or just defaults to the first tier, no matter if you're on the second or third. And, again, with the music, try to make it varied. Try to make it a bit easier on the ears, is just all I'd say. Anyway, that's me signing off for this video. I hope you enjoyed this review, and there'll be more to come. Again, I'd like to thank uh, Awesome Blade and uh, Freedom uh, for giving you the chance to review this game. Um, if it wasn't for them, I probably never would have encountered this game. So again, thank you Freedom for giving me the uh, chance to play this game, and thank you Awesome Blade for providing the key.